Um, okay, yeah, it should be live now. So today is going to be Marth and Lucy today. Marcina, if you want to call them that or whatever. But, yeah, um, I'm going to be covering Lucina's moves, but I'm going to be explaining the differences between hers and Marth, because there aren't any differences, really, on the animations. So I'll be covering the actual differences on the way that the moves function, I guess. And let me have this on CPU shuffling, so... Oh, sorry about that, but... I am still kind of sick. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna be better. I think I should be good by Friday, but... I will be able to start streaming a lot more pretty soon, but I'm not gonna do that long the stream today, I'm just gonna do this guide. Which, this guide will probably be long, but... I mean, just in terms of, like, how much I'm gonna stream today, like, I'm just gonna do the guide, I'm not gonna do gameplay. But I am actually a Lucina main in Ultimate. I've been playing her for the past few months. I didn't play her whenever Ultimate came out. I played her like a bit, but I focused on King K. Rool and Daisy. And then I kind of moved over to Lucina whenever I started noticing that I could win a game in like a minute and a half maybe to um, like two minutes sometimes. And then I ended up like playing Daisy a little bit more than Lucina. Like Daisy had like 10 hours and Lucina had like 8 hours but I still had like 200 more games with Lucina so that's what I decided to start focusing more on Lucina than Daisy but Lucina and Marth are pretty fast they have a pretty fast walk speed it's one of the fastest in the game so you don't even have to like run around to um just try and move around you can like if, if you dash then it's obviously better but you can just walk around like if you like if you get caught walking accidentally or if you want to just be able to get tilts up pretty easily because you're not that good at like stopping out of a dash to do a tilt. Which, them stopping out of a dash to do a tilt is a lot better than most characters. Because you could just hold down and then just hit A because down tilt's one of their best moves. But I'll go over that and its uses and stuff like that. So, yeah, they have a pretty fast dash speed. Their jump's decent, I would say. It's not the best or anything like that. Um, I'll compare Mars real fast, actually, I guess. So, you can see it's the exact same, like same walk and dash speed and all that kind of stuff. Like out of dash, you can stop and do a down tilt. They're pretty much the exact same, it's just on different characters. Very similar to Peach and Daisy, except there's one big difference between them. And that is that Lucida Sword does the same amount of damage throughout the entirety of the point, and Mars has a more powerful hit on the tip of his sword and a weaker hit on the actual like sword itself I guess like the tip of his sword is where he's going to do a lot of damage but everywhere else is going to do a lot less damage so yeah for um, dash attack jabs and tilts so for dash attack it's just pretty far dash because you use your sword you can use it to get a as you can see um, Lucidas did more damage in Mars because I hit the sour spot of um, Mars, but if I hit the sweet spot, I didn't space that right. It's kind of hard to get the spacing on dash check. There we go. You can see it did a lot more than Lucina's. But Lucina, because of that, Lucina does more consistent damage, but if you time your attacks right, or if you space correctly, then Mars will end up doing more damage overall. But Lucina, at least in my opinion, is a little bit better due to her consistency. And the fact that you don't have to just rely on tippers for kills and stuff because his sour spots, Mars, will actually affect the launch distance of a lot of his moves pretty severely. So, for um, jab, save for both characters, just two hit jab using the sword, does 10.1 for Luciana, and then for both of the tipper hits of Mars, it does 13.8. Jab is like the only move outside of like a down air into like up smash or something like that that will true combo into the second or into another tipper if you like land a sour spot kind of or like you can combo into a tipper with I guess like with neutral air it's just you can see it you'll like hit the tipper both times if you land the first one although it's kind of hard to do if you do a rising neutral air but it's pretty easy to land the hits whenever somebody jumps against you, but obviously this Lucina's not jumping. So, because I have to control the Lucina. 
But yeah, for um jab, it's pretty fast. You can just throw it out if you're like just dashing around and you're not sure what someone's gonna do. You can just space it properly because they have large hitboxes due to their sword and if you hit the sword it doesn't do anything to Martha and Lucina other than like trade. So it just allows them to be safe. And it's has a pretty far range in front of them. You can see. Like even if it doesn't hit, like it still reaches pretty far, so it kind of cancels people approaching and makes them have to like jump or stop and get into a shield or something like that and then you can just like dash grab them. Or short hop Nair out of the jab because it has very little in lag. So those are just a few options. But for um tilts now, we've got four tilt here. It's just pretty large hit. Or I guess I'm gonna be going over both their moves because it's a little bit easier to do. Whoops, I forgot that that's on Smash Stick because it's CPU. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to land the tip of this. So yeah, let me just try once more. Because you have to move Marth forward with it like this. It's a lot better if you don't have to move him forward. There we go. So I did 15.1 for Mars Tipper, and then for Lucina's sword does 13.8. So even though you're not doing as much damage as Mars Tipper, you're doing enough to where um it will do more than the sour spot. So you'll just get more damage without having to space it as well. But you should still space as Lucina. And then for up tilt, it's a really good tilt, except it has a bit of impact, as you can see, a bit more than most. Kind of combos into itself, like at lower percents, and then you can maybe get an up air out of it. And then for Marth, oh, that's gonna be Smash. Um, hmm. Here, let me try to land the tip hit of it. Here, no. Um, it's kind of hard to land the tip or this move because of how large it is. I can't really tell. And then I have to kind of like walk forward while I'm holding up because of how this stick is situated. I should have probably done Lucy and as a CPU just to save time, but I'm just trying to land like the first tip. Okay, so up throw to 6.3. Alright, let me just see how much the, um... Okay, so it does 7.5 on the sour spot. In the sweet spot, it knocked that 6.3 up to a 17.8, I believe that was, so... That'd be something like 11%. But it's kind of hard to land the, um, sweet spot, as you can kind of tell. It doesn't really true combo into the sweet spot out of the sour, but... It does combo into another sour spot. Which kind of gets you a sweet spot up there, but I mean, if you're gonna land this um, sour spot, it's not a bad move to just land a sour spot because of how fast the startup is, but it's still really slow on in lag, so there's a lot better moves. Like down tilt, for example, which is gonna be this move here. You can see it has a pretty large hitbox. As we'll see, that kind of extends her arm to use the full length of the sword and her arm to get like the maximum amount of. <laughs> Or sorry about that, I had to cough. I didn't have enough time to meet my mic, but it had enough time to um out of space. Or not enough time to space, but like have longer range on the move. You can see. And it's really good for spacing because of how fast it is. Like it's pretty hard to punish we'll see it up due to its slow in mind. And it has pretty fast startup as well. Like if you hit the boom, obviously it's gonna have more, but as you can see it's just a really fast move. Like you can't even see her like get out of the crouch animation. Whenever she goes back into the shield, if you're holding it down, because of how little in lag it has. And for Barth, does well. Oh, that could have been bad, but it does more damage on the tipper. Obviously, does 12.6 compared to Lucina's like 11, or no, it's 10.7 for Lucina. So it will do more damage on the tipper, but for the sour spot does 8.8 .8, so it's not as great of a spacing move for Marth but if you do space it right then it will reward you a lot more than Lucida's down tilt will. Just random caller there. 
so yeah, I guess that's kind of just... I'll talk about the advantages of using one over the other towards the end of the stream a little bit more. So for, um, I guess we can do Smash attacks now, for of Smash, it's the exact same for both of them, well, that was up tilt. It does have a tipper on the tip of my swords, obviously, which will do a lot more damage, and it will, like, true combo into, like, the up, it, well, it will, like, true combo if you hit somebody on the ground, it does two hits instead of one, but with Mars it does a little bit more damage on the ground, or a little bit less damage on the ground than Lucy does, I mean, but that's just because it's hitting the sour spot, it has a tipper, which is kind of hard to do, actually. Um, here, let me try. Yeah, it's really hard to, like, get this at the right angle. You have to be at a little bit higher of a percent, I think, so let me try to turn up Lucina's percent here to try and win the tip of the move. Out of an up throw. As you can see, it does a lot of damage just out of that tipper, because smash hacks do a decent amount of damage on their own, but with the tipper being involved, it starts to do a lot more, and they kill incredibly quickly. But the sour spots kill much slower in comparison, so that's just something to be aware of when playing as Barth, I guess. For down smash, it hits on both sides, it's got a lot of range, very similar to down tilt, except a little bit shorter in range. but. I mean, it's still good enough to be, like, here. That was the sour spot again. Let me try. Like, here. There we go. As you can see, it does a lot of damage for Marth and for Lucian as well. Even though it's not as much, by about 4%, it's still a pretty decent amount of damage for, like, reading someone's roll. Like, if you hit the back hit and stuff like that. Back hit does do a little bit more damage, so I'm going to try and learn that with Marth. No, I, it's not going to be easy. Yeah. Um. Hmm. There we go. You can see it did 21.9 instead of 17 for Lucina, so. It's about the same amount of difference, so about like 4% more for Mars moves. But they have a lot more kill power. And then for forward smash, probably your best smash attack. Like, down smash is really good for, like, spacing and stuff like that, but forward smash is just incredibly fast. It's one of the fastest forward smashes in the game, and it kills pretty early. As well, I'll go over kill percent and stuff like that. And I'll just be, like, focusing more on Luciano for this guy than Marth, but I'll kind of cover some stuff with Marth as well. It's just I'm a Luciano main, so I know a little bit more about her than I do about Marth. But I have played a lot of both of them today. So, for Marth's forward smash, it does... 23.4 compared to Luciana's 19, and it starts killing much earlier than Luciana's, like, here, let me turn Luciana's damage up to, like, 50, and turn Mars' damage up to 50 as well. So if I bring Mars to the edge here, as you can see, he lived the hit at 50%, but if I take Luciana and bring her to the ledge, and then I hit the tipper hit of Mars' forward smash, it instantly kills pretty easily. So, that's just an example of how much of a difference a tipper makes in terms of knockback. But, in terms of overall damage, it's not enough to be that significant to me, like 4% more. But you also run the risk of having to worry about spacing and stuff like that. Which Lucina doesn't really have to worry about as much, but you should still keep an eye on spacing moves so that way you don't get punished as easily. And then, for, um... I guess we could do specials now, or I guess we'll do aerials first. So with neutral air, covers both sides, it's a two hit as well. Could kind of combo into like a jab, you can see, at lower percents pretty easily. Or that works at high percents as well, but it's just not that useful of a combo, I would say. Like it kind of gets people off stage, but that's pretty much all that it does, and that's how to like first hit in there. Did that a bit too late. And as you can see, you only get one. And then that's like the same thing for Marth. But you can get a spaced 
um, tipper on the jabs a little bit easier out of neutral air from Marth. So let me try it at this percent. You see, if you go for the space like that up tipper in there, then it's a little bit harder to hit the tipper on the jabs. But as you can see, I was able to get the first hit as a tipper for being closer to Lucina at that percent. But yeah, it's really good for like holding out jumps and then really good for edge guarding as well because of how active it is. It's just like pretty much every Nair in the game it's active for a lot of time, but Marth and Lucidas cover it a large amount of range due to them using their sword in a circle. And it's active for a while and it hits on both sides. It's multi-hit on its own, so that means it hits at least twice, which it does hit twice. Those for her to land second hit on the ground. But that was the second hit there. So, you can kind of just do up throw Nair. It's not a true combo or anything, but that's just a way to help see that Nair is two hit. And then for fair, whoop, that wasn't fair, but fair. It's very similar to back air in animation. See, back air does 14.9, but fair does a little bit less damage at 11.2. And then for Marth, we try to space this right. That was back air at 15.7. And then fair. And it could be stale at this rate, so I'm trying to be careful and time this right. So it does 10 on the sour spot. But, as you can see, he has a very um, high movement rate in the air. But it's 14.4 on the ground, so... Does 4.4% more if you hit the tip. But for Lucina, it's just... Or, and Mars, I guess. It's really good for spacing, because it's just how fast it is. It has pretty much no landing lag as well, so... Like, you can just do, like, um, nares or fair to just, like, wall off people. It's very similar to just like having a projectile that is very fast and short range. So it's just pretty useful like that. But as you can see, like I can just use it to pretty much just cover people in front of me because it hits like 90% in front of Lucina. Like 90% of the like area, I mean. It doesn't really cover her feet that well, but it covers pretty much everything else. And then for back air, it has about the same amount of range. Um, and it does turn you around as well. I was trying to see if it did that because I wasn't really sure if it did. But yeah, it does turn you around, so you can do an edge guard kind of like if you go for back air and then you turn around to do a fair. Or like you back air here to land a back air on the ground if you're not good at like doing a raw back air, for example. But that would depend on how fast your opponent's recovery is and stuff like that. Like, if you're playing against Joker, then there would be no reason to do this back air here. And it would also make the move stale. But yeah, pretty much all of Marth and Lucina's aerials are probably best at edge guarding out of almost any aerial in the game except for up air. Because up air launches upward, so we'll cover that one now. As you can see, you can do a falling up air to, like, short hop up air. Out lower percents, and it covers a decent amount of range above Marth and Lucina. That's pretty good for just, like, juggling people. But outside of that, it really has no use. That's why I don't play with stick jump, it's because that. But yeah, it's gotta make me stick jump every time, so. As you can see, the tipper of um, up air will not combo into another tipper for Marth, but, um, I'm trying to just land the tipper hit to see how much damage it does. Or here, let me do it out of up throw. Oh. So. It did, what, like 10%, 10.1 out of, um, up throw for the sour spot, but I can't really tell the sweet spot. Because it's kind of hard to land. Due to the stick jump being on. Nope. 
Okay, I have to land it on the front. And I have to be a little bit further out than that. This is going to be our last try, because it's kind of hard to land this one. But I did get it earlier, so... Um, let me just turn up the percent here. It's going to make it harder for me to guess what percent it is. But six jump just makes it really annoying to land that, because I'll every time that I go for the up air, I jump like that. So that's kind of the problem there. Did that a bit too fast. So it did that much percent. I really couldn't tell what it was because I hit another up air out of that. But yeah, sorry for not knowing that much about Marth. I just don't really use up air for him that much because it's just not that useful of a move for Marth as it is for Lucina. Because with Lucina, you could do um, landing up air into itself and then start juggling. Or you can do landing up air into up tilt into up air. You can see for 34.5% off of small s combo here. I was gonna say string, but it's actually true. Like, Lucina and Marth, they don't really have a lot of true combos. Or strings, really, but they do a lot of damage just in their neutral, because they have really strong neutrals. Um, hold on one second. For down air, it spikes, it covers a lot of range underneath Lucina. It's very similar to up air, except it has a lot more range. It starts on the back, so you might want to do like a raw down air if you're approaching with it. But even if you don't, it's still fast enough to where it will hit in front of Lucina pretty quickly. So you can just use it to land with to confirm grab, kind of like that. Or if somebody's just like spamming projectiles and you want to land on them and get a spike to start a combo of like a up air juggle or up tilt juggles and stuff like that, then you can do down air too up tilt and stuff like that and then at certain percents off stage it's gonna start spiking and that's the same thing for Mars so for his um, sour spot it won't spike but his sweet spot will spike you can see here but if I were to hit Lucina with the sour spot whoop that was sweet spot again and another one now that I'm not wanting to land the sweet spots I'm landing them and as you can see it won't spike so, you can just use that to set up for edge guard if you want to go for the sour spot. But the sweet spot's much better for edge guarding, but sour spot's good for setting up them, I guess. And if you don't land the sweet spot of down air for Lucida, which is going to be on the tip, that's where like the spike happens, then it has the same effect as Morris, except it does less damage. And then for um, special attacks, you got neutral special, which is shield breaker. It has a lot of range and kill power. It does a decent amount of damage as well. Especially if you hit the tip. You can see from Mars it did 30.2. For Lucina. Need to be a little bit closer. 28.9. So that's not too much of a difference between their percents. But the kill power on Mars. If you land the tipper. Is much stronger than Lucina's. Like, I can just test the knockback here, so that's the knockback on Lucina's there. And then for Mars, that was the sour spot, so it did about the same knockback as Lucina's. But if I were to win the sweet spot, which is going to be like about here, you can see it just killed at 27%. So, it does have a bit more startup than your smash attacks to make it be able to kill. Like, if you just throw it out like that, it doesn't really do that much damage, even if you land the tipper for Mars. But, like, if you do land it fully charged, it will break shields if you land the tip and stuff like that. You can angle it to hit people lower to the ground, like, poke them through their shields or whatever. Like, because if, if somebody's um, feet are sticking out of their shield, like that kind of, um, here, let me try to slow down the game a bit. And then shield is Lucina. So if this Lucina is shielding, Mars could actually hit her on the feet. Oh, that, no, that's going to hit the shield. I accidentally grabbed there. I don't really understand how I did it because I didn't hit any of my buttons. But it will break shields, so you can just use it to break someone's shield if they're playing too defensively or break King K. Rool's, um armor on his stomach as well. 
And then for side special, you've got Dancing Blade. It has three different forms. So for the first form, it's just four hits in a row. They're pretty quick, and they have a lot of knockback on this last one. For um, Mars, I'll try and hit the space on. Oh. So as you can see, it does a little bit less damage than Lucina's, but that's because I'm landing the sour spot there. It's very hard to land sweet spots on all of them. Or I don't even think you can, but the last hit's someone that counts, and you can't really land the sweet spot on the last hit unless someone falls into it, which I can't really do by myself. And then for angle down, so if you angle down towards the final few hits, you will do like a rapid attack like that pretty low to the ground. It does a bit more damage than just a side one, but I mean overall it's not, like I use it a lot, but it's just because it does more damage, but whenever there are your opponents at higher percents and you want to be using um, the just normal one, and then if you kind of want to start, like it doesn't really start combos, but it kind of can, you can do um, the upward one, which is that there, and then for Lucina try and do it. Space a little bit too far there. It works much better if you're right next to your opponent whenever it starts. And it's really fast as well. But it, that, or those are the three, are three different forms, sorry I can't really speak. But um, for a side special, if you just hold up, you'll start doing upward ones. If you start holding down, it'll do downward ones. And then if you just leave it at the side, it'll do the sideways one. For down special, it's a counter. It's pretty much the exact same for Martha and Lucina, like I think it's the same speed. I'm gonna try and do it both at once. Well, that did not go as planned. Um, it's very hard to play with two controllers. But yeah, it's exactly the same, so... I was able to get it there. And then for up special Dolphin Slash, it's very fast. Like, you can use it to combo with, kind of. You can see, but the thing is it leaves you in free fall, so it's not really that safe. But if you're not sure if you can land the up air, like if your opponent's going to air dodge through it or whatever, then you can just go for a dolphin slash, but it's still not going to be a very safe option. It does make you intangible for the first few frames, so that's kind of good. Like you can see, you do get invincibility from the startup, but it's very quick on how many frames are. And then same thing for Barth. Um, it's gonna make me jump every time I do it. You can see it did 13.8 there for Marth, and then we try Lucina's. So yeah, it just does the same for both of them. And then we try to hit the tipper of Marth, because I'm pretty sure his up special does have a tipper. Though I don't actually know if it does or doesn't. It doesn't appear to, I would say. Because it's not making the noise that Sour Spots make. So, and then for throws, just to go ahead and get them out of the way from Marth, you've got up throw, 6.3%, down throw, 5%, um, forward throw, 5%, and then back throw. And none of them are kill throws, and it's also 5%. For Lucina, I'm pretty sure it's the same damage. Yeah, 6.3, 5, 5, and 5. So that's all of their moves. And now I can start kind of covering combos. So for down throw, you've got down throw to up air to start juggles. Um, depending on how your opponent DIs, I'm going to turn off control now because I'm not going to be playing against Mars for a while. So I want to see the CPU shuffling. You can kind of get a chain grab going, but it's not a true train grab or a true, who true train grab or anything like that. Or else, then Martha and Lucina would be S tier, like, for sure, then they'd be like the best characters in the game. But, right now Lucina is currently, at least to me, in the top 5. I would say for most people it's a pretty safe bet for top 5, and Martha in the top 20 for sure. And I'll kind of go over why I think of their positions as that in a few minutes. But yeah, you've got down throw back air as well. That's pretty, you can do down throw into pretty much any aerial. Like, it's kind of hard to do fair because you have to like, not that, but 
you have to be able to run and then it depends on like if your opponent DI's out I think or I got it there but it's still a really fast input to get the fair to work back air is a little bit easier to do and then up air works the best because it just looks like it would make sense for up air to hit I guess whereas back air it doesn't really like your opponent might be able to DI in a specific way to where it's not true and then be able to air dodge. And then you could also do like a back air into forward smash, although that's not true. It's just pretty fast. Like do a fast fall into forward smash to catch your opponent landing whenever they think that you might go for like another up air to try and get a kill or something like that with the forward smash. But yeah, for Marth, his down throw into his aerials work exactly the same except he can land tippers sometimes. It's not that easy to land tippers out of down throw or any of Mars throws, but they still kind of work. You can't do any true combos out of up throw because it has a little too much ending lag on the move, but you can see it has a lot more ending lag than some like down throw. And your opponent's also at a high enough position to where just nothing really works. Or here, let me try this. Yeah, even up smash isn't true. That has a little bit more range than up tilt does. So, I guess that's kind of it for combos. Like, you've got jab, or like down tilt. It's not really a true combo or anything, but you can do down tilt to fair, kind of. Depends on how your opponent reacts. Like, if your opponent always shields the fair, then just use down tilt to dash grab, and then down throw and tobacco or whatever. Um, it's gonna work best out of that situation. Forward throw and back throw aren't really kill throws, but they can set up for edge guards pretty easily. And then you can set up for tumbles as well. So, for tumbles, you just wanna do a regular, um, two hit. Or not two hit, but just single hit. Sorry, jab block. Didn't two hit there accidentally. And then you can combo that into forward smash, down smash, and maybe up smash. I ha haven't really tested up smash yet, so let me try that. Yeah, you can do up smash and you will get the true combo out of the up smash hit that knocks you into the actual up smash. Because there's a small hitbox that appeared for a second, kind of like um, Shulk's up smash that just knocks you into the move. On Lucina's side, it's like next to her feet. But they're actually invisible in the game, you can only see them if you're looking at hitboxes. But they're just like right next to Marth and Lucina's feet. Marth had the same thing. So to get like the most damage out of an up smash, you want people to be right in front of you. But it's much easier to just land it if people are trying to land on you. But you can use it to read rules, because it's a pretty fast option for 21.7%. Compared to forward smash is 19. And down smash is 11. Like, what I like to do is if people are at a low percent and I knock them off stage, then I'll like to just run up and forward smash to get out some damage pretty quickly. So, I guess for taunts as well. Not really that great for Marth or Lucina, but I'll go over both of them at the same time. So, let me grab my controller. So, for up taunt, very similar. Side taunt, they both sheet their swords. And then Lucina covers her face, and Marth will just say, Keep your eyes open, or something like that. So they do have a little bit of variation, but neither of them are that good of taunts, I would say. Like, they're kind of just like that. And then the mask goes on and then off. But yeah. Still kind of coughing, so I'm making sure to beat my mic now. Oops, almost fell there. But yeah, um, for edge guarding, I do have it on stop, so he will get back to stage. I guess I'll turn it on to CPU level three. So, um, you want to wall out your opponent, but Marth actually has a pretty good matchup against Lucina. It's one of his better matchups, I would say. So he's gonna be able to land this first hit a lot because he's got a little bit more practice with. Mars today than I did. I didn't really get to play Smash that much today because I've been sick. But I do know enough about 
like Marth and Lucida to be able to do a guide without having to need that much gameplay on them both. But as you can see, for edge guarding, you could just use like double fair. Fair sometimes will just land another fair at the ledge, and then you can just footstool Marth if he's slightly underneath the ledge to be able to get a kill. Same thing with Lucina, Roy, but not Krom. I think Krom, you actually have to footstool him pretty low to the ground if he's at the ledge like that. Like, obviously, if he's far away in, like, the bottom corner, then obviously if you footstool him, then he's not gonna be able to make it back, but for just, like, the corner in general, most of the time, um, Fire Emblem characters won't be making it back. Only one I can think of that can consistently is Robin. But yeah, I accidentally be reset the wrong way. But as you can see, I kind of just like to play bait and punish. Or I've been playing more quests, but I guess I can play bait and punish. So, wait on Martha to throw out a move. Or I'm just gonna go for a dash grab here because he's doing nothing. then go for an edge guard here and that should be enough to kill Marth so yeah you can just get kills pretty easily by waiting for your opponent to do a move and then punishing them for doing the move and I'll go over Marth's game plan in a second so I was hit there but it's fine because I only took 7.5 percent then that's kind of just BM there but he was dead after the forward smash when he used his jump Marth and Lucita heavily depend on their jump for their recovery, so if you're struggling against them, just try to wait for them to throw out a move and punish them. You kind of have to play their game, and then punish their recovery really bad. Because, like, Dolphin Slash is fast, but that's their only recovery move. So, even if you do get hit by it, it launches people towards the stage, so you should be able to get back unless you're at, like, 50% and you can't tech. So, yeah, let me actually switch over to Marth and play a bit of his neutral, I guess. So, or actually, I'd have to quit trading to do that. So let me just go ahead and do this real fast. So, let me switch Lucida here. Um, sorry, I turned on my volume, so I thought I was muted, that's why I didn't talk for much there. Um, and then let me change the Lucida skin back to the one that I had it before. Oh, no, wait, there it is, sorry. So for Mars, I've never actually used him in training mode, but I have played as him today, so I know some of the combos and stuff like that. So for Mars neutral, it's pretty much the same as Lucina's where you bait and punish. Whoop, that's control. Need to have it on CP level 3. You see if you throw out a jab there. Countered. I should have grabbed there. If you're like down throw back air. Jumps in to try and approach. And then I didn't do this with Lucena a lot. But going for down tilt's really good for spacing. Because of just how much range it has. Marth and Lucina have the exact same range though, so. It's very hard to like outspace Lucina as Marth. But Marth will be rewarded for spacing more than Lucina in this matchup. But if the Lucina's trying to space you out, which they should not be doing, then it's gonna be easier for Marth to win that matchup. At least against Marth, you shouldn't be doing that, but if you're not playing against Marth, then you should be spacing them out. Should have let it recover because I messed up on that ledge interaction there. Yeah, she hit me with the uppy out of the second hit of jab, actually, because I think I already had went for the first and it missed. I'm gonna do a back throw here. So you can see, you kind of already see the problem with Marth, I guess, is the fact that Lucita's at 169.2 and she's still alive. And I can't really get in to kill at all. There we go, landed a forward tilt there. So yeah, I'm just gonna try and reset it to this game. 
here, so gotta play aggressive there. I keep rolling back, so gotta start to approach. I think she's dead. Yeah, she's dead. So you can edge guard with Marth for a kill, but it's much better to get kills on stage with like characters because edge guarding is really good for Marth and Lucina, except they can't edge guard really low. So they can't really edge guard you if you're down here, and a lot of people just recover against them down there because they know that you can't do that. So like if you're playing as like K rule or Pit, pretty much anyone that has a recovery that breaches underneath stage a Pikachu. Um, Pichu, um, Fox, Falco, they have a little bit better recoveries than Martha and Lucina. You just have to try and out-recover them, kind of, for your recovery, and then you should be fine. Like, they can still hit you with a two-frame down smash, but it's still pretty risky to go for that, because if they miss it, then you can just punish them with a get-up attack, due to the range. You see, I kind of went for something there out of down tilt. I just kept going for down tilt fair. And then I rolled back in on Lucina. She jumped there, but kind of went through my sword, it looked like. Like, I thought I hit that for sure. Yeah. I'll be out of shield is a really good option for Marth and Lucina, but they have much better out of shield than most characters, so you could do short top nair, down air. Forward air and back air. Oh, back air is this one here. No, that's Nair. I'm hitting back in the air, but it keeps doing Nair. Yeah, you see me going back, but it's still doing Nair out of shield. But yeah, back air is that. There it goes. So, those are all really good options. You can do like drop shield forward smash, because it has pretty much no startup on the forward smash itself. So that's not a bad option if they throw out a really laggy move, like Pikachu's forward smash, for example. And then you just shield it and then punish with your own forward smash, that's a pretty good option. And then, up B out of shield is your fastest option, I believe. It's slightly faster than, like, short hop Nair. Or at least it appears to be slightly faster. So... All of those are really good options. Their grab out of shield is not a great option for them. Like, it has decent range, obviously, but their dash grab got buffed a lot, so it's much better to play aggressive with them now than it used to be. So you can just, like, run up to people if they're shielding a lot, and then if you want to throw out shield breaker, you can to punish people shielding a lot, but dash grab's a really good option if you're playing someone who has a counter like Lucina or Roy. And you're not sure if they're gonna counter your shield breaker or not. As you can see, Lucina tried to shield breaker me, but I just shield breaker turn return. I try to hit um, that jab there. Jab's really good for arm um, reading rules, or not even reading rules, but just guessing if they're going to roll because of how active, like how long the active hitbox is. There, got a low recovery there. And another problem with Martha and Lucida's recovery, at least that I've found, is that they don't grab the ledge a lot. Like, Lucida's not gonna grab the ledge here. Which is really exploitable if you're playing characters that aren't Martha and Lucina, but if you're playing against Martha and Lucina, then it's probably something that's pretty annoying to you. Like, I find it annoying a lot with Lucida to roll on, or to like up be on stage where a K rolls just neutral being and not being able to grab the ledge. Because I've recovered just a bit too high. That happens a little bit too much for me to like it. I'd much rather them grab ledge by default than not grab ledge unless they're at the absolute maximum distance of their up special. Because it just has a lot more uses in that regard. See, I was getting a lot of... Like early hits there because I'm playing really aggressive as Marth, which isn't something that you want to do. That's much better to do as Lucina than as Marth. So, I guess that's their main difference is with Marth, you'll be rewarded a lot for bait and punishing, but Lucina, it's not like she won't be. But, what, like, 
Marth is rewarded for a player that baits and punishes very easily, and like knows how to bait and punish in space and stuff like that. But with Lucina, you can bait and punish without having to know that much about bait and punishing. Like just thinking, oh yeah, my opponent are right, just like playing very passively, and thinking about what your opponent might do, and then preparing for it. Like waiting for them to do something without throwing out moves. It's a pretty good option for Lucida and Marth. With Marth you're rewarded for doing that from a far away distance, but with Lucida you're rewarded for doing that anywhere, so it's kind of a little bit better for Lucida, but Marth does have its advantages in that. But in terms of playing aggressive, Lucida's definitely way more rewarded than Marth, and this game rewards aggressive play a lot more than defensive. So I guess that's why I think Marth is a little bit worse than Lucida. Or at least worse enough to be two tiers different, because I have Lucian at S tier, because S tier is my top five characters, and then A tier is um, the rest of the top ten, and then after that it's high and then low and stuff like that on my tier list, but I will be doing another one of those after this challenge, I think. Hold on. Yeah, I will be doing another one of those after this challenge is over, of like my character a day thing. And after I get through all the guides, so that way I can truly know, or at least somewhat truly know, where they go, rather than just having to make somewhat of a guess like I have been doing for the past few um, tier lists. Because I, I don't really know that much about me Brawl, or me Swordfighter, me Gunner, or Rosalina, or Muma. don't know that much about Korn and Bayonetta, but I still tier them, because I kind of got an idea from other people that play them, or people that have played the game. So that's what I was kind of based my tier list off of, but every character that I do know, which is pretty much everyone else but the ones that I mentioned, I think I tiered them pretty properly for where I put them on my tier list, but I will be doing a tier list for 3.0, so Joker's in there. Probably after this challenge. I might do it a little bit before. It just depends on how I feel. But I'm going to be able to start streaming a lot more than I have been recently. Like, I'm going to end this stream here. Because I'm kind of out of time. But I will be starting to stream a lot more in the next few days, actually. And hopefully I start feeling a little bit better as well, because I'm still sick slightly. So that's why I'm not streaming that much today, as well as I'm out of time. So, yeah, I guess I just hope to see everyone in the next stream.